It's the conversation that everybody is talking about, the Master Chief Collection not being supported because the Halo community said no to microtransactions. Now this came up over a year ago, 343 suggested that microtransactions could be added to the Master Chief Collection in the form of Spartan points. So you spend real money, you unlock Spartan points, and it allows you to progress your battle pass faster. The whole Halo community, probably 90% of people, all said no, we don't want this, and it has come out that because the Halo community didn't want this form of micro transaction, the game's development was cancelled by Microsoft. Now, I did a video about the microtransactions when this was a thing, and I very vocally said no. A majority of you guys did too, and I don't think it's really fair to blame the community for this, for many reasons. First of which, is we actually suggested different alternative monetary ways for Microsoft to earn more money with the game, and I really can't blame people for saying no to microtransactions, as even Halo Infinite to this day, you could buy a AAA title two or three times, with the amount of microtransactions in the shop. Fast forward to a few days ago, and Mr. Rebs, a gaming journalist, covers gaming news, that because the Halo community came out and said no to this type of microtransaction, that the entire development cycle of the game was cancelled by Microsoft. It's really important to note that 343 didn't want this. 343 wanted to continue working on the game, and the fact that 343 wanted to continue supporting the game was absolutely music to my ears. Now, I really think the reason why the Master Chief Collection microtransactions got shot down so quickly is because Microsoft pushed microtransactions so hard with Halo Infinite. Especially when the game first came out and burnt a lot of bridges with the community itself, people would have been a lot more receptive and probably would have been fine with Spartan Point microtransactions being on the Master Chief Collection. But people were worried. People were concerned. So to say it's the community's fault, I think is a cop-out. You can't blame people for being concerned when there wasn't even a progression system on Halo Infinite when it launched, the prices were through the roof, there was so much FOMO, and the color blue was being sold multiple times. I get very passionate about this. There was at least two or three different revenue options suggested to introduce the player base to microtransactions, and if it was done in a way that benefits the community, people might have been more open to it in the future. Now the silver lining to this, and there is good news, is in the video Mr. Rebs published when he broke this information a couple days ago, is he says 343 wasn't happy that Microsoft pulled the plug on MCC's development, and the door is actually open in the future for it to then resume. I've been pushing for one final MCC update for a while, I've been pushing for mods to come to console, I've been pushing for one big update to fix a majority of issues for the game, but if there was continued support for a very long time, people would love that. These classic games are always going to be popular. People are always going to love them. If there was a small dedicated team and their entire job, kind of like a museum, was to just caretake, oversee, and manage the Master Chief Collection with small minor updates as well as the community created content being also added into the collection, it could survive for another 10 to 20 years. And that's just from the community and modding scene itself. I've actually seen some of the dig site team who are working on the cut Halo Combat Evolve and Halo 2 content, and they themselves have said, hey 343, give me a double A budget, not triple A, a small budget, a small team, and we will look after the MCC. These guys are super talented, and I think it would be a great idea. I know it's something everyone would love. I also think, and if Microsoft is going to push the microtransaction deal so hard, just have it like Helldivers. The Helldivers microtransactions don't impact the game at all. And for me, microtransaction-wise, I'd rather see the mod creators get paid for their work, the amount of plays it gets, the ability to purchase mods, a marketplace for that would go a long way into incentivizing modders to continue releasing content. I know it goes without saying, but I'd also love a modded MCC customs browser, as even that would be an incentive for modders to continue releasing multiplayer content. I really don't think Microsoft understands how big of a game the Halo MCC is. I also don't think they understand how much potential it has. I know a lot of you guys in the comments are going to say, well, no shit, Remy. Microsoft aren't gamers. Microsoft only care about the bottom line. And yeah, you're right. So if they could at least see this video and be like, wow, the Master Chief Collection does have a lot of potential. Five or six games, never-ending content opportunities, both developer and community made, this is a very lucrative option for us. And that's without adding a 
egregious microtransactions. You release a good game, people will love it, and with a game like the Master Chief Collection, the sky really is the limit with what you can do for the game. Brand new playlists, brand new rotational content, brand new content updates. Now, of course, some people might say, Remy, the collection is done. It has been updated to a state where no more updates are needed, but I just think there's so much more potential. These games are beloved by millions. I'd love to see future support on the game. What I really think would be the most beneficial thing for Microsoft, 343, and the community is to continue having an ongoing conversation and ask the community themselves what other way would players support the game, including brand new revenue streams? I think for a lot of people, when they actually knock back microtransactions, a majority of people had no idea that would completely kill the development team of the MCC. So I think an ongoing conversation would be best. If you're going to ask for my opinion, I would focus on the custom games browser, get mods out for the custom games browser as well, and just like Halo Custom Edition, allow players to rent out servers. I think that would be a good first step to getting some more revenue into Halo MCC. So that's it. That's all I had to say today. I hope going forward, Microsoft reconsiders supporting the game, especially as Mr. Revs reported that 343 themselves would like to continue working on the game. So with that said, let me know down in the comments what you think. What are some different revenue streams Microsoft can use to keep funding and keep supporting the Halo MCC? I look forward to hearing what you have to say. But thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.